Acting on a tip that Gordon Call had been seen in the area, FBI agents and local lawmen converged yesterday evening on this bunker-like farmhouse in Smithville, Arkansas. They went looking for Call, but got no further than the front door. That's when the shooting started. We shot inside the house, put the, ga uh, the gas in the house. The fire started, and then the live round started exploding, which lasted for some one and a half to two hours. Shot during the first seconds of the battle was Lawrence County Sheriff Gene Matthews. He died later at a local hospital. But Sheriff Matthews also shot the man police say was Gordon Call. Police rained fire on the house, but after the first exchange, all shots from inside may have come from ammunition set on fire by police tear gas. The house belongs to Leonard Ginter. He and his wife are active in the local tax protest movement. They were both arrested just before police went in. Ginter first told police that his wife was alone in the house, but after the shooting started, Ginter said the man inside was Gordon Call, and he would not be taken alive. When the flames died, police found a charred body inside. It was taken to Little Rock for identification. Gordon Call's ultra-conservative tax protest movement, the Posse Comitatus, first came into national view in February when Call was charged with killing two U.S. Marshals and wounding three other lawmen in North Dakota. The marshals were trying to arrest Call for parole violations following his conviction for income tax evasion. Call has been a fugitive since then. Today, FBI agents were still sifting the rubble for clues, but it appears that Gordon Call's flight from the law is over. The county medical examiner says there is a strong probability that the body found is that of Gordon Call. Meanwhile, Leonard and Norma Ginter, with whom Call was staying, have been charged with the murder of Sheriff Matthews. Josh Mankiewicz, ABC News, Smithville, Arkansas.